So let's just take a quick look at what it looks like with teacher C and teacher D when they complete it. We'll take a look and, and make sure that email is going to get sent out to everybody. So I, I'm just going to go, I guess I should have put this in the first video. Sorry, I, I want to make sure it works. I'm going to take a look at our, our templates. We have it set up so the end of the day email gets sent out when the teacher D um, completes their section. So let's take a look here. End of the day, we're going to add another teacher. This is where you would type in the email addresses to all of the teachers here. Okay, oh, we need our subject. This is our uh, behavior report. We'll call it a daily behavior report for Johnny. Whoops. Sorry, I made too many videos today. Okay. Good. So that looks good. Let's complete teacher C and teacher D. So we will grab that link one more time. We'll pretend this is teacher C. Teacher C is going to complete this. Johnny turned it around and he had a pretty good day. Nice work today, Johnny. From teacher C. And we are going to give that link, let's say this is Teacher D. Teacher D opens up in this room in their email and they say, wow, Johnny ended the day great. Wonderful effort today. You're probably going to want to make both of these questions required for each teacher because it will never send the email if Teacher D rates the behavior but never sends a comment. So we're going to require both in the form itself. All right, so let's go back and take a look at our spreadsheet. It completed for every teacher and it said the email was sent. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the email from teacher B and we're going to see if they got a message. Let's see what they got. Oh, daily behavior report. So here's the daily behavior report from Johnny. And you can see how we had it set up on Formula. Looks good. All right. Cool.